Hi friends, this is Pooja from the third year. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I am assistant professor of department of EIDS and EICS IOIT. In this session, we see the different uh, transformation, but uh, specifically we go from the 2D scaling. Uh, that is nothing but uh, uh, another technique of transformation. So now we will discuss this transformation. Um, so scaling is nothing but that uh, in computer graphics is a process of modifying or altering the size of object that is nothing but the scaling so it will uh, change the size or the change the shape of um, your object by using the scaling transformation so basically it is uh, um, it deals with uh, changing the size of an object when uh, we have to perform the transformation so uh, scaling may be used to increase or reduce the size of an object. Uh, so also it's subject to the coordinate points of the original object to change. Uh, so another point of related to scaling is that it uh, scaling factor uh, it requires for that in a 2D transformation it requires the 2D uh, fa scaling factor related to um, uh, changing the size of an particular object for the transformation so which uh, determines whether the object size is to be increased or uh, it will be reduced that means uh, the size of an object will be a compressed or it will be increased so if uh, the scaling factor in that uh, when you perform the transformation it requires the scaling factor so whenever you increase uh, apply the scaling factor it requires the two condition that is for uh, uh, is that object size is increased or it is compressed so it requires if scaling factor is greater than of one then uh, the object size uh, is increased that is the size of an object is um, uh, actual object of size is getting increased uh, and another condition is that if scaling factor is less than of one then uh, we can say that the object size is Reduce that is uh, actual image or the actual object size is compressed by using uh, the scaling factor. So now uh, suppose uh, suppose there is a uh, we have a point object O as to be a scale in a 2D plane. So initial coordinates of an object will be x old and the y old. So whenever you are applying this um, uh, transformation that is scaling, it requires the scaling factor related to x-axis and related to y-axis. So we can say that the scaling factor of an x-axis is an sx and similarly for y related to y, that is scaling factor will be s1. Uh, so now we have to finding out the new coordinate after the transforming uh, the scaling uh, we require of an object, uh, the new coordinates will be x new and then y new. So when you achieving your scaling transformation, you uh, using this following scaling equation that is x new equal to x old into a pure um, scaling factor that is sx related to x coordinate. Same for the uh, y new uh, related to y new coordinate that is y old into a uh, scaling factor of y coordinate. Uh, so this is how the equation has been generated after performing the uh, achieving this scaling so uh, when uh, the matrix form of the above equations may be represented as like in a diagram show that is suppose x new coordinate and y new that is nothing but the after uh, scaling transformation the newly generated coordinate are we define as x new and then y new uh, is equal to uh, your sx 0 sy and 0 is your uh, transition factor uh, scaling factor uh, matrices into uh, your old object coordinate that is x old and y old so this is how the metric representation of your uh, scaling equation uh, so but uh, how that homogeneous coordinate representation we will see in this session so second diagram is represent the uh, scaling matrices by using homogeneous coordinates representation so in that we have uh, that is newly generated coordinate of a, after performing this scaling that is x new and y new and we require the one for the homogeneous coordinate representation uh, so after that uh, then uh, your transition uh, your scaling 
matrices will be like that that is sx00 y sy0 001 and uh, your original uh, coordinates of that is x hole into x hole y hole and one so this is how the representations of scaling matrices using homogeneous coordinate representation so now we will see one of the uh, examples to solve the um, problem by using the scaling so we have taken one example so let let's go on that is um, your equation your problem statement is that uh, given a square object so we have an square object with the coordinates point like a b c d so we having coordinate that is a for 0 3 b will be 0 3 3 c will be 3 0 and d will be 0 so after applying the scaling parameter or the scaling uh, vectors are 2 um, 2 towards the x axis and 3 towards the y axis and obtain the new coordinates of the object so uh, we will um, finding out the solution of that particular coordinate uh, of a problem by using the after applying the scaling transformation so now we will uh, solve it so here uh, we have a whole corner coordinates of the square that is a will be 0 3 b will be 3 3 and so on so and we have a, a scaling factor uh, along with x axis that is 2 same for the y so scaling factor along with the y axis that is 3 so now we will calculate the new coordinate of a, a new coordinate of a b respectively c and d so now we apply the formula of an scaling transformation that is let's new coordinates of a corner a after the scaling that is x new and the y new after that applying the scaling equation we have gate that is x new equal to x fold into uh, your sx that is uh, uh, scaling factor of sx so 0 into 2 equal to 0 and y new equal to y old into xy so that is 3 into 3 equal to 9 so we can get so thus we have get the new coordinates of a corner a after the scaling that is 0 and 9 so now come to the next coordinate uh, that is for b so we have to finding out the new coordinate after the scaling so formula will be same uh, just we have to adding uh, different coordinates that is b so now let like new coordinates of a corner after the scaling that is x new and y new applying the scaling equation we have get x new equal to x all into sx that is 3 by 3 into 2 that is we get uh, x new coordinate 6 same for y that is x y old and scaling of y that is 3 into 3 that is we can get 9 so new coordinates will be the of a corner b after the scaling transformation we get 6 and 9 uh, so we have to uh, finding out two coordinates of a after the scaling transformation that is a and b now we uh, now we will move uh, for the next coordinate that is c and d so same for formula will be used uh, so we have new coordinate of the corner c that is x new and y new so applying the uh, scaling equation that is x new equal to x old into xx and same for y new equal to y old into sy so we can get uh, uh, after uh, applying the scaling uh, transformation we get x new and y new uh, that is 6 and 0 we get that is a new coordinates of a corner c after performing the scaling transformation that is 6 and 0 so same for the coordinates d uh, we have uh, coordinates value are 0 0 so we get after new coordinates of a corner d after the scaling applying the scaling equation we can get the new coordinate that is 0 0 and so new coordinates of this square after the scaling a b c d that is a will be a 0 9 b will be a 6 9 and c will be a 6 0 and d will be a 0 0 after applying the scaling transformation so uh, now see so we can get the result now see in the diagram representation uh, here the scaling uh, uh, before before scaling transformation we have the object like square with having 
small size as compared to after applying the scaling transformation uh, so we can get uh, increased size of n square object and we get the result related to after applying the scaling transformation so this is how the working of your scaling transformation in 2d plane that is x and y and uh, this will be work on in any 2d plane so this is the entire structure of n 2d transformation uh, by using scaling scaling so uh, this is how we have completed this point now these are the references related to a uh, 2d transformation by using uh, for the different techniques that is uh, scaling we have these references now thank you yeah.